Hi, this is Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and this is a brief tutorial on how to use SeaCleaner, a freeware drive cleaning utility. The reason you'd want to clean temporary files out would be if you were about to scan for malware or with your antivirus program, you could actually get hundreds or you know even thousands of temporary internet files that you don't need on your computer off of there, and that would speed up the scanning of these programs. Uh, imagine if you're searching for a particular file and it has to go through all these temporary internet files and drive and files in your drive that it doesn't need it's going to scan those as part of a search as well so this can speed up these things so it's nice to run this uh, every two weeks if you use your computer a lot or maybe once a month if you're a fairly casual user so all you simply do is you can come down here and click analyze and that will take a look and see if there's any files on here to delete and it would give you an opportunity to to browse through here and see if there's anything you want otherwise you simply click run cleaner it deletes them and just close the program your drive is clean it can literally take you you could probably do this in 15 or 20 seconds on most days let's move down to the registry cleaner that is a nice simple safe registry cleaner it's not a registry tweaker it's not a registry in-depth analyzer it's not going to fix any repairs but it's a nice safe cleaner so all you do here is you scan for issues which it won't find any in my case and then you would come over here you'd hit fix selected issues a screen will pop up here in the middle that screen will offer to back up before when you click on it to repair you back up that file so that you can come back later and then you click on where it says repair all and you're done with your registry now CCleaner has a few more tools that have been added over time uh, there's a shortcut to your uninstall which is your add remove programs or programs there is your system restore which is a shortcut to that mine's off because I use backup images Startup. This will let you manage startup items. Those are usually those little icons down the bottom right corner there that tend to clutter your system. Be very careful in this area before you remove anything. Uh, look it up. And the drive wiper, which is a quick, simple way to select a drive. Uh, C is my main drive. This would actually write zeros to the drive repeatedly so that the stuff is not recoverable. Be very careful here because if you click down on this and you select entire drive, your computer is not going to boot again. Uh, so it's just one of those areas you want to be careful of. Later on you can come into your settings and your additional options, run it when it starts, uh, add it to the recycle, you know, the right click context menu, automatically check for updates, and here you see I have secure deletion which we just discussed when I go to my regular cleaner here it simply does a, a, a deletion but if I wanted to click here now that would take a lot longer to clean your hard drive but it'll securely wipe everything if you want it to nice for security if you're security conscious uh, the cookies are real handy too you can quite simply take a cookie for example I've already done this with msn.com and I moved it over here so what you do is you'd click on let's say you want to save your bing.com cookies uh, cookies are for if you log into their website every day something along that lines you simply click the arrow right here to move it to this side now it will not delete those cookies on the next run nice nice little toy another thing you can do is you can click on add here under include find any folder you want let's say for example I'm not going to do it here but you could take temp click OK it's going to warn you now when you click OK again because what it's warning you is the folder is going to empty all the files on cleaning now you can still back out now exclude works well actually the opposite so if I wanted to add that temp folder again I don't want it to look in there just in case to play it safe I click on that click OK now it will ignore the temp folder I use that for downloads and well temporary stuff obviously so it's nice to have it have it ignored the advanced stuff I'd probably leave alone if you're feeling like it later you can come in here and take a longer look at uh, only deleting files that are older than 24 hours which again is nice for your cookies on sites you visit all the time um, close the program after cleaning which as I mentioned before if you come up to your cleaner you could hit run cleaner and by using that option it would simply close sequin and you'd be done and out uh, don't forget to there's one last thing we want to go over real quick is your it breaks everything down to your Internet Explorer, your Windows Explorer, your system, and your advanced. I'd stay away from the advanced. They're gray, so you don't notice them. A lot of stuff is questionable. You probably don't want to play around. Um, but if you want to save your Internet files, you want to save your history, you want to save your cookies, you could easily uncheck that, and it wouldn't touch your cookies. It's a nice option. If you go to Applications, yours may look different depending on what you have installed. You can select for it to ignore, for example, AVG, 
uh, Adobe Flash Player, anything you don't want it to delete. And it's a nice way to just avoid having any problems with some of your favorite programs that you use quite frequently. And hopefully this gives you a, a little help using CCleaner. As you can see, it's a very simple, very easy program to use. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.